What's up, Internet? It's the time of week again. Off the page. Thank you to the patrons. Yes. Patrons. I don't know which one these people say. Is it patrons? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I think so. Each of the 12 FPS patrons right now. Unless Army's fixed it. I so still I haven't know. seen it, so I don't even know. <laughs> this makes me laugh. So, oh, I'm going to fix the starter in when we have a big starter. It's I, just fun. I really, I have, tonight I have time. I'll check it out. But yeah, Twitter, Mitch692, Halftime Joe, as always. Mm-hmm. And there's some news. I mean, there's news, but it's not like deep news. It's just, there's this to be fair, like, quantity. I only heard about one of these, or two actually, this week. The others kind of went completely under the radar oh, until really? earlier on. It's just like, oh. I, I, can, <laughs> I, I can guess which ones you, you were under the radar for you. I can kind of guess, to be honest. So, yeah. Which one did you think was under the radar? The last two. No. Oh, what? Really? I don't count as you just learning the the one that happened as under the radar. Cause I'm it... not talking. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. I'm talking about that. the third. The third one happened yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that one I knew. But then you said another one, so I thought it was the last one too. Because we have an order, guys. In case anybody, we actually like there's a, we have, we can see what order we're going in, so we're not messing up and stuff like that. But the first one is. Marvel's two in one will be the search for the Fantastic Four's Richards family, which we kind of already knew. Kind of, kind of. Like uh, they said about it before, and to be fair, there's a book I'm going to talk about later on that kind of hints as to why this book's going to be happening. I think it could it really matches up. It's just like, hang on, no, this is a bit coincidental. But yeah, the first arc I believe is called The Fate of the Four, and it is. Ben and Johnny, and they will be, I think, from the sounds of it, teaming up with Doom, uh, with Victor. I mean, is the only one who really knows what happened. Yeah, and I mean, it just kind of makes sense where they're like, they can't really be gone. Let's try to find them. That makes sense to me, you yeah. know. That's just, that's the, oh, what does Zadarsky say in this? Doesn't he say that, that everyone believes they're dead? That everyone says they're dead. Ben has come to terms with that. Johnny hasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I think that's the whole case. And uh, yeah, it well it says also right here that Doctor Doom will be a part of it, and he has a secret. What's he hiding? That he knows he's st- they're still alive, basically. I'm pretty sure. Also, I I imagine Doom knows exactly where the fuck they are. Yeah, I I do <laughs> like the cover though. I I will say I do I like the cover. Yeah. yeah, Fate of the Four, Fate of the Furious. No, you you don't I mean, like that reference. You could, you could comp- I mean, if it was a reference to one of the early ones, it'd be perfectly fine. Yeah, I mean, you just don't like the Fast and Furious movies. Not anymore. I mean, fuck that franchise. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. So, uh, what is it? Um, so it's the, the fate. No, it's the thing. Human Torch, uh, Secret Wars Drift, something like that. Like I, there, I can't think of one clever right now. That's just like the only thing that came up, which is not clever at all. But, um. Two I, thing, two torch. That, <laughs> see, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's that's all. That's all. Because it is yeah. no, but it's two. Like it has two, the like number two around it. So that you know, that makes sense. But it's a terrific two. That's it's cool. one of your favorite writers, right? So that's this is exciting. I would I'm say. Honestly, I'm honestly surprised it's a darky. I was expecting Bendis. Yeah, that does sound like it would make sense. But this is better overall, wouldn't it be? That it's Zadarsky instead of Bendis. I mean, Bendis writes a fucking good thing. And personally, I think Bendis would be really good on a Fantastic Four book because he's very much family orientated. Ah. I mean, can you get the Fantastic Four? So, is it real quick before we go on to the next one? Is it six issues? Uh, no, I believe it's an ongoing. Oh, an ongoing. Okay, okay. I thought it was like a mini series or something. So, I'm trying to see. So, it only it's says so that it's it in- says it says the first arc. Oh. oh, the interview says the first arc. So I'd imagine but it's it, ongoing. It also says part one, which when you hear part, it kind of sounds like it's a miniseries type of sense. You know what I mean? Is that the Fate of the Four part one? Yeah. Oh, well, that could just be the arc. 
The Fate of the Four yeah, Part it, One. That, yeah. That's the first issue is Fate of the Four. Yeah, yeah you're right. It, um, it said it's coming out December. Uh, no exact date until this full solicitation comes out, uh, which will probably be by next week, anyways. So we'll probably know exactly when it's coming out, but like which day. But it's cool. Is it's coming? It's close. You know, December. Is that that yeah, far away? It's too far. Or three months. Mm -hmm. If that. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just sound. That, I, it? It's just exciting to me because I love Reed Richards and. The, I mean, specifically the ultimate version, you know, the maker and all that. I just still think that's just amazing. I would love to see that translated or ad adapted into live action, you know, if Marvel had it. But I mean, either way, I, I just it would, would be love an to interesting see... film. Yeah. It would be a very I, interesting film. I'm just excited for to not acknowledge, but to bring back, bring bring it around back to the Fantastic Four and Reed and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because uh, this was bound to happen. It was bound to go back to them. Uh, we had a good run without them so but it was bound to go back to them you weren't gonna leave them forever i would say no yeah well unless you know that <laughs> Let's see, the whole it. the whole hickman thing where it's like oh yeah you can't do it it's like yeah you you're gonna bring them back <laughs> yeah right. oh hickman nah, yeah but uh next up uh metals batman lost number one loses what's his name koipal koipal and bengal uh no i think it's koipal like Anna Copo, I think that's an actress. Like Copo, like just like that. Just I've heard that name before in an actress. That it's a lot. So it's just Copo. That's just how you say it, not Coepo yeah, or whatever. So yeah, and right. Bengal. And... Co Copo and Bengal adds pages and new creators. Ups the price. No, it loses them. So that's what sucks. Which is weird. I mean, I I don't recognize that name. Me either. But at the same time, it's like. I don't know necessarily know it's a, the the best thing when you lose the original writers and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's true, true. But it's it's, it's, it's taking over. It's just it's just uh, it's, it, I think it's just Scott Snyder, James Tinney, and jo and the guy who writes the Flash. So I think they're just like, okay, we're just gonna come together real quick to write it. Oh, Snyder will now be assisted by co writers Tinney in the fourth and Jonathan yeah. Williamson. Fair enough. I mean, it's the guy from the Flash who also did. Uh, the but part of the button, I think that's where he got more of like a writing credit. I think too, um, James Tinian, of course, doing masterfully masterful work with Detective Comics. So, uh, I, I mean, I can't complain, but it's also it sucks when it loses the original creators or the writers that were going to be on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? In that way, so especially when you're adding one, two, three, four artists. Yeah, that doesn't no, sound you're amazing. Getting, you're gonna get a bit of a mixing pot. Of the artwork inside. Yeah. Uh. So it says previously solicited as a 32-page one-shot, the book which Scott Snyder has described as the seventh issue of the core Dark Knight's Metal. So it's like the it's like the Omega. Just imagine that. Uh, it will now be 40 pages. So that's why the price. Yeah, I, guess. I mean. Yeah. I mean, I I don't see how people can ever expect them to add pages and not up the price. Yeah. It's like you'll fail in business quite quickly. I, I'm just. <laughs> Cotton, I mean, little surprise because I I don't want I don't I'm not trying to be a hypocrite here, so I gotta say it. If this was Marvel, I feel like people would have been like, oh, of course Marvel is like up in people, the price stuff whoa. like that. You saw it with Secret Empire. Yeah. Every time they did it, people got pissed off. This so that, comes out as not a word. That that's why I'm not you know, silent. I'm trying to uh I'm just trying to be kind of in the middle of like I love DC, thing, but I gotta say it. People only like one at a time in this industry. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I don't That's, know yeah. why. I don't know why. You know, you go go back two years and DC was in the same place Marvel is now. It's you no know, everything DC did was wrong. Everything Marvel did was right. That's just how it works. To, 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 I know you. I don't like making sports forever, but it's a sports type of thing where you you only go for one side. You can't go for the other in that sense. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, but then you get you, you like do get the people that are kind of like well, you can do both. Yeah, you, you get people don't... you you get yeah, those people too in sports, and then we roast them. Um, <laughs> but it, you know, I just had to I just had to say it. I know it's like shocker that I said it because I feel like people probably would have been say, like I was I was gonna say it to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah people would have been like, oh, that's something Mitch would say or so. I don't know, but I kind of had to say it. So, but other than that, it's going from four dollars to five dollars. Has a. a Eight extra issues. Uh, it's coming out November eighth. November eighth. But what's what's the argument be? People are like, yeah, but it's going to be good. That doesn't really indicate anything. It, it's weird that it comes on November 
eighth because it said Batman lost number one. Well, now no, it says where did it say? It said that it was supposed to be the unofficial seventh issue in that sense. Yeah, so I don't know where it's. Be... Yeah, it's right here. So the well, how, unofficial. How, how many is metal? How many issues? Oh metal? well, I guess this is the seventh issue, but it's not the ending. It's not the omega. Uh, yeah, okay. Because metal ends in like February. Yeah. So I I got a little confused about that, but yeah, so it happens. But um, real quick, there's there's also another. Our change, which is or not our change, but another kind of creator change, where the Flash thirty two its story got pushed back to November for a new story, which is so weird. I don't know if you hear this a lot. Story, the, story pushed back to November for a new what? What the fuck is going on here? So I guess they took the story that was going to be in the, the issue thirty two and just pushed it in November and are putting a new back story in that. Flash thirty four. Yeah. So. <laughs> And so, yeah, okay, real quick, just to read it. It's like the original story was Black Hole Rising. It was meant, planned for October 11th, Flash 32, but now it's pushed back to November 8th, Flash 34. A new story will be taking place in Flash 32. Um, it is called Welcome to Higher Heights. The guy who's kind of writing Batman Lost is Joshua Williamson is going to be writing. Like, he's the guy writing Flash, basically. So I guess it's just, it's weird because you don't hear this a lot, but I've, saw this with uh Superman where they kind of like pushed like an issue ahead. I was saying, yeah, they pushed yeah. they've mucked about with that a little bit now. It it's you don't I don't think you hear this a lot, but it's it's there. It happens. It's, yeah. It's always I suppose thing. this this is probably going to be a new thing because if it everything's twice monthly now, like writers are getting so far ahead of themselves so they can just interchange. Oh, you think it's something like, like that like, where they bad, just yeah. Yeah, it's like no. I think this works better here. Put that there. That, that, that makes sense. Like getting too far ahead in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'd agree with that. So, I, I, you know, two little uh, under the radar news stories that I thought had to be mentioned that people might uh, have so that, to say. That, that just screwed with the order we have. <laughs> <laughs> it's I like mean, no, you you jumped ahead. Why? Yeah, it's fine. But uh, the next one. Now this is the one that I. You know, this came out on the 13th, and I didn't hear about it until like a couple of hours before we started doing this. Yeah. Uh, Marvel's teasing a new character, but it's not that new, or the oh, name's yeah. not new. It's Voyager. Now, the only Voyager I know, Marvel, is a child of attorney, but I don't know if this is the same one. I mean, they've been mucking about with the whole eternity thing, even though it kind of Low key ended right with the uh, ultimates. It kind of ended. Oh that yeah, issue it's, it's one, it's one hundred was the end of that series. Yeah. See now, I my brain went straight to ultimates because they had that panel of all the different Marvel, like the seven iterations of the Marvel universe, and the fourth was missing, and it had a little bit of text to say what that universe was, and it's it's uh, I can't remember what it was. It says something. It, was, it kind of went with Voyager, and I was like, I wonder if this is connected to that. And I was like, shit, I cracked it. And then yeah, I kind of look at that panel again, and it's not it doesn't even mention Voyager. It's like, oh, I was wrong. I I really hate this comment. Uh, what is it? Uh, it re- anybody remember when Marvel used to make brand new characters? Technically, it's a brand new character. It's even though it's gonna, in, it's a, technically, I guess. I I mean, Voyager, from what I remember, was one of those characters that there wasn't... No one really knew anything. Like, that's part of its character. Yeah. Like, it could be anything. It, it, no one came from. This blah, could blah, blah, be blah. just the same name, but a different, like, altogether. So, like, Ghost Rider, right? I'm sure Robbie Reyes is a new character, even though he's it under Ghost be. Rider name. Yeah. So. I've heard someone say it could be an aged-up Kobe. Oh, that's how, that interests me a lot for real. That really does because that brings it like all together with like Secret Empire and stuff like that, and, and keeping that still there is something that Nick Spencer did. I mean, we'll learn more about it uh, September 29th, which is a Friday, um, which is two two days after yeah uh, Marvel Legacy comes out. Yeah, number one. So so I which is I it's strange. Why bring it out? Obviously, something in Legacy is pertains gonna, yeah. to this. Exactly. Uh, I think that's obvious for just from the dates alone. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it seems kind of strange. It's like, oh, who's this? Find out more at the end of the month after this has come out. Not I, find out in this. 
I, I, I understand. It's my my assumption is that you'll see her at the end of Marvel Legacy, but you'll know well, more yeah, about her in, on that yeah, Friday. The Marvel Legacy is the reveal of the character's return. Oh, well, that or of a character's return. Yeah, that's been dread. I don't think people would dread or miss this character because who the fuck knows who Voyager is? <laughs> True. <laughs> no. It's Especially just, this one. It's just interesting in the timing wise. Like, yeah, you learn more about this character already after you're probably gonna see her and like you said, right? Like it's just a little weird, yeah. but uh I mean, it is what it is that you know, yeah. they do no you do you, Marvel. You know. <laughs> you do you. Never a more accurate statement. You do you Marvel. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't know, like, if it's crazy cosmic stuff, and please, for the love of God, give it to Ewing if it is, I am 100% on board. <laughs> no, no yeah. he, he sounds kind of cosmic y, the Voyager. She looks kind of cosmic y with the white eyes. But, mm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but moving on to the last piece Marvel announced Tales of Suspense is coming back in December. Why this wasn't. With the original Marvel Legacy announcement, I don't know. Yeah, a little weird, but I mean, we said it before the show. I love that the, they're bringing these old school titles back. Tales of Suspense. Yeah. Uh, all they need is like, what were you saying? Which ones do they need? Um, Tales to Astonish, Journey yeah. to Mystery, I, uh, Amazing Fantasy. No, I've always. I mean, it's it brings that retro vibe, and also brings that like, oh, Marvel's kind of going back to what started it all. DC going back to what started all the actual comics, Detective Comics going to the original numbering. So I, I personally love that both these companies are technically going to kind of a what started it all, like bringing back the tells type of series, and yeah. then um, you know bringing back whether it's the characters or certain characters or the original numberings for DC. So it's that year of kind of like 2016 slash 2017, or maybe just 2017 overall, is, or is that year of remembrance i guess i don't know well, that's I mean, the exact term. This, this is the um this is the comic industry's nostalgia era ah you're right yeah that's the better like, that's you know, better. The, like movies have had that era we're still kind of in it i cool. suppose in a sense yeah but we the comics are finally decided now's our turn to jump on nostalgia bandwagon <laughs> but this new suspense series will explore life after death for marvel's black widow has she died or has she not See that's yes, because I, I still I I didn't even think she died, but you you kept telling me she's dead. I was like, oh. I mean, she's <laughs> fucked. She got splinted in the neck by a pointy shield. Not a lot of people come back from that. Exactly. <laughs> and then there was a funeral for her. Uh, but <laughs> like, that... she, she's pretty fucking well. She might not even be there. You could be right after all. But the main point of this series is Bucky and Hawkeye. The people, the team of people affected by this, yeah. uh trying to hunt down someone who's killing people off in Natasha's hit list and they're killing them like Natasha would. Like, the angle of the shots put the exact same and that sort of stuff. Um, I think it's Bucky doesn't believe it's her. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay. But Hawkeye does. Okay, yeah, Bucky does. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're, right, you're right. That's how it goes. And, uh, I mean, cool. It's also kind of strange because... Black Widow's on the cover of uh, Captain Marvel issue, and uh, what other issue? I think it might be an Iceman issue cover. It. She's on two separate covers, and it's kind of like, oh, she's clearly not dead, but this is kind of going, well, is she alive? Is she dead? Well, for right now, it doesn't say when it's coming out, but it's soon. Uh, it's December. Uh, when? Where did it say that? Where? I'm certain I say it's December. Um, da, 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 we're gonna check it real quick. Fact check, fact check. Uh, so announced on the Tales of Spence will feature both the uh, Hawkeye and da, 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 Serpents. No, just she. Uh, no, I don't think so. It's fair to say that. Yeah, no, nah, it just has like. As a result, the yeah. first issue of the new series will officially is. Tales of Suspense number one hundred. The series launches there it in is. December. I didn't see that part. I, I scrolled down and because I, I scrolled down past it before because it was so small. It's also under a video, so it's like it's kind of like easily scrolled past in my opinion. 
Yeah. I feel like you should I mean, have a video enough, under <laughs> that I, I read everything and I was like, I know I saw December somewhere. Okay. And it's like, oh, there's, there's a bit more text. It's like, quickly read everything. But it's, I don't know, I just, the way this article is constructed, the, the video probably should have been at the very end. I get that the video. It's typical, it's typical THO. Well, also, if you have a video about inside uh, the Omega issue, you should probably put it under when they're talking about Omega, not under talking about Infinity War. So, <laughs> I don't know. That, yeah, that's. That's because the mega issue has the setup for the series. That's just kind of like I, um, I mean that's probably like such a geeky like editing writing type of thing, right? <laughs> to get mad at it. it's like yeah. Eh. <laughs> so, but yeah, December. Malaga. I love that yeah. it's the original numbering as well, a hundred. So I think that's. That cool. just it goes to the legacy stuff in there, but I don't understand uh, why they didn't at, at the legacy announcement where they even had the two in one why didn't you announce this why didn't you announce Tales to astonish it's... no that's more like industry changing than just announcing your same lineup but with gift cards i i would argue that they kind of wanted it after omega where i you know i didn't necessarily read omega but i it, right here it says that there's I'm a funeral sure, there but at the same time when they announced those books they didn't say what's in what the story is yeah. No, two in one just came out and it had the thing and Johnny on the cover. Yeah. Like you could have had Towers to Spence with Clint and Bucky on the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's also not even a cover, which I would, I wish we would have had. Exactly. It's, it's kind of like this feel. This one feels very last minute. Tacked on, last yeah. minute. Yeah. And I imagine the others would too. But at the same time, I do wonder if it's just a case of we need something for Comic Con at New York. Ah, yeah. That saves you from comic con in New York. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. That's, that's just yeah, that's just my thinking of it. I mean, that makes sense. So yeah. Uh, it? now that's the end of the news. Yep. And on to the comics of the week, and I forgot what I was going to talk about. Um, I mean, I no, wait, wait, wait. You got it. You no, got I, it. I believe I have it. I believe I have. Because you're first. Because we have metal to talk about today. Because. We Finally. Talk about yeah. But um, my first one is the same I've been talking about for the last six weeks. Uh, is the Captain Marvel Generations. I'm blanking on what the little subtitle for it's called. Uh, blah, but blah, it's blah. I'll tell you right now. Carol, Carol Danvers and Marvel. And it's the same story as everything else. Oh, well, kind of like, yeah. Going back to the essence of the character. <laughs> Ding! She appears... And it's re- the, the timeline's really confusing because she gets there, she sees him after like a little fight with you can instantly tell it's a nihilist stuff, and so it's kind of like oh, then they get zone. There's the whole mystery of like where am I? It's like what's clear. But she see she meets him and she's kind of like oh, you know me, it's me. And it's just like oh no, this is before I knew him. And then later on, it's like she goes, you look familiar, and it's like. Well, do you know her or do you not? Like, <laughs> when is... Like, obviously, it's not the actual timeline. This is just kind of like a little dream vanishing point yeah. place. So it was, it was kind of strange for that. A lot of references to the Wizards of Oz. That like Margaret Stroll blatantly just watched Wizards of Oz and like, I'm going to make this bet. Like, have as many references to that as possible. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it was it was fine. Like... I'm not a hundred percent sure what Carol learned. I think it was it, they don't really have like a big lesson. Like she kind of just disappears at the point where she's telling him that who she really is. It's just like okay. Are you but, sure it's not kind of like learning your origin in a way? I don't well, she know if that's the right term. Uh, she knew her origin already, yeah. and it's like yeah, it the, right term. <laughs> the others have had a clear. Like a clear cut lesson as to what it is. Yeah, and, hers is and maybe not weird. the Hulk. The Hulk one. I suppose the Hulk one was kind of like you, you know you're the Hulk. You're always fun. Like the Thor one was why like Odin son always did everything. The Iron Man one was for Riri to realize that she there is like greatness, yeah. which is that piss people off in the future. You know, she will do these great things. Uh, the Wolverine one was so Laura could say goodbye to Logan in like the actual Logan, the old man Logan. They could have a proper set off of that. What else have we had? Uh, brr, what else have we had? What generations? I mean, Jean Grey. Jean Grey, yeah, that you know, Jean Grey. One. That was a good one. That's my, still my personal favorite. Oh, it's called The Bravest. 
Well, of course it's Brave Rosita. I mean, which... Yeah, no, I... I... I, like, what happened to the mightiest? Because she's always right. the mighty cat. <laughs> <laughs> that make, that, that the... makes sense too. Yeah, missed opportunity, I would say. I mean, it's just a strange. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, but this one, I kind of... I can't sit here and think what the lesson she learned was. And unless it was that, you know, sometimes she has to kind of like pull herself back because there is a moment where she's like being quite aggressive. And he's like, no, be, be, be diplomatic. You know, we, we're, we're in these people's place. You know, it could it like could that. be perspective, given because you know she's civil it, war. It she wasn't. She yeah. didn't have a lot of perspective and shit. Civil war, where she kind of just went crazy, um, yeah. and everything after Secret Empire. And this is showing her you need to have perspective to be able to uh, go through life. So like, I feel like that the way you describe it that sounds I mean, something it, like that. That kind of matches up. I think it's just more in the short and thick of it is rein yourself in a little bit. Don't be so brash and quick. Like, actually, but like, take, like, uh, scout the situation out. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I think it's yeah. kind of close. Like they were hitting yeah. that I'm 100%. I could just be talking about my house, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, the art was fine. There was, there's a lot of people going, like, oh, you know, she's now a man. It's like, have you ever seen a muscular woman? They don't <laughs> have massive hits and curves. I agree. <laughs> learn how gym. female like, learn how female anatomy works without spouting shit off in there. Come, come on, internet. But, yeah, uh, it's, it was fine, yeah. perfectly fine. Like, you know, it's it's a generations one shot. I don't know what more. I I've been the one telling you that these are needed in a way, I guess. But I've been like championing these, like these are good for what they're doing. I think, like the the essence, quote unquote, of the character stuff like that. I think. I don't. Okay, I say needed, but I don't necessarily know if they're needed. But they're, they have a right to be here. I would say, you know, I know, I know you're kind of like a little bit over of like learning their lessons, but I think they do have a right to of what they're doing and teaching these characters. I mean, I mean, it's it's fine if you like if you're new. Yeah, so. true, true. That it does work out better for you new know. people. I, I my main problem is I just wish that they were different. No, they are just all the same. Like, that's my biggest gripe and it kind of every time I see one it's just like oh I'm going reading the same story again yeah. Yeah. I mean right. it's just perfectly fine my turn I'll be talking about Mr. Miracle number 2 of 12 uh, I really love when Tom King does the the three panel type of thing like three panels and in three rows or like three rows and three columns type of thing well this that's more Mitch Gerard's well, or it, Jared's, maybe I pronounce his name. Well, he's, he did this with um, Omega Man, yeah, where Space Jesus Kyle Rayner was around too. He's done this before. But to, be, to be fair, it, it, it happened quite a lot with Vision as well. So yeah, I suppose uh, it, could, so, it probably is a Tom King thing. I, I'm, I wonder who actually started. I'm pretty sure it wasn't um, with Watchmen. I'm pretty sure I, it was before that. I think it was Watchmen. Oh, it, Watchmen? Okay, I just yeah. assumed it might have been before that, but it, Watchmen, uh, that, people seem to always mention Watchmen with this, so maybe it is the what, one that started it. It did happen before. Watchmen was the one that popularized it ah, and kind of sense. made it more recognizable. That that doesn't make sense. So um, this one, I just saying that I love the the three panel sets and the, when it happens because it just makes it more unique and all that and kind of like really a different story. There's um there's a couple of pages in this where they're talking to Orion or High Father, whichever way you want to call them at this point. Yeah. And if you flick between the two pages, it looks like they're bowing. Because they're in the same panel and like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've like, seen it right big, now. <laughs> big Bard is like, right, he's that bad when he's just kind of like, what? <laughs> and so then cool. his face is still in the middle top one, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, it's so funny. It's uh, really good panel layout. In this oh, one. for sure. One page. It's one page. In which this, one? That, um, it's where they're sneaking around. No, uh, you they're, don't they're, like they're, it? Whole, whole, I don't know. Wait, wait. Well, let me finish. Go ahead, go ahead. They're, go ahead, they're back. They're sneaking around the whole camps and they're going to kill but uh granny goodness right yeah and if you follow the through line it takes you from top left yeah. to top right then it goes middle right across to left like middle left yeah then it doubles back to the middle then it oh, goes yeah. down yeah, it yeah. don't like i don't remember a panel layout in recent memory that double backs on itself in the through line it you just it caught me off. <laughs> I, like, I was just reading it like, where am I going? It's like, oh shit, I got to go back. It's like, what the fuck? I, I, I Apart that... from that, like, it wasn't a. It's not. I'm not 
like yeah. complaining about it. it's just it really took me by surprise that it doubled back on itself you just don't see that i put that as a note saying that i really love that just because i don't i don't know i don't see that a lot per se i just thought it was like a it, it made me chuckle like it smile like man this is a really good issue because <laughs> of like just that kind of like little stuff because also if you read the words sneak s n double e k that's not how you spell yeah, it sneak. And like, and like fights like f-i-t-e yeah yeah and then <laughs> It says tickle T K L E, <laughs> and then kick K I K. Like this is, it, it's a it's kind of funny. Uh, it's really just uh, it it makes it more of a unique issue too. Especially, I mean, this one. I mean, both issues one and two had uniqueness to it. Where the first one had dark side is dark side is. This one had it, but not as much. And the more unique it part of it was this one panel of dark side is. Yeah, which is so like different, right? Because you'd expect more of it because the first one had it. Oh, well, I was expecting a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing I, that I came out after reading this was that this is probably not in continuity. This is probably... Oh, no, no it, is, it is. It doesn't feel like it, to be fair. It, no, they, they, they've said, like, people will keep asking Tom King, like, no, it's 100% in the DC. Is, then why it's, is... co- it's connected to Metal, it's connected to Rebirth, it's connected to Doomsday wow. Plug. It's 100% in the story. Because when I read this, it legit doesn't feel like it's in it. It feels like it's it one of those... It doesn't feel... It feels a very by itself standalone yeah. out of the universe but, but it's you know because dark side is still a baby in it yeah no, no but they, the way they say it, like dark side like because they don't even it doesn't seem like dark side's a baby in this it doesn't really like they don't necessarily fair, say we haven't, baby. Act, we haven't actually seen dark side yet oh i mean well yeah true but we've seen dark side as a baby already we'll see it later in metal um <laughs> but yeah i mean other than that like those are some of the takeaways that i just really love the art um I, it's a really yeah. it, this is a lot better like i i love the first issue i think yeah. it's one better oh i i totally agree too just because I of just, also the, the the little twist at the end with the whole granny goodness thing i really like that as well where he, she was kind of looking out for scott in that sense and, was she yeah i think so i i definitely think it, so, so like, I, obviously i'm not like that well versed with the new guys and all that sort of <laughs> oh, stuff yeah. it, is that a thing like would she just say that to get scott on her side it, uh, I I mean, it could always go the other way. You never know. It's one of those where, like, her, her character is that, but it's also, it could change, really. It's it's hard to tell, but because of the way, I guess she kind of explained it, and, and me thinking, like, yeah, Orion, like, Orion kind of is that kind of guy to just, for Scott to, to kind of, like, set up Scott to fail in that sense, where they're going to murder her, and they're going to put i guess them in, in a jail cell or kill them or something like that what it seems like yeah he is that kind of guy so to me it kind of seems like it but at the same time i don't even think she's dead so she's that type of character too where you think she's dead but she's not i was gonna say isn't granny good that's too big of a character to find the kill off. that that also why it made me think that it was a standalone because they just kill her off <laughs> um yeah. but yeah i just i definitely do uh like this i, I also it also feels to me that if you don't know the DC universe, it's kind of a lot to take in, like Metro, Dark Side, Orion, Hyper. Like, I mean, it's it's, it's a lot. It it kind of it is a lot, and it it does throw a lot of pulls at you. And like like Metro just comes out of nowhere. I'm like, okay. Yeah, but like at the same time, like I think that kind of adds to it. Yeah, yeah, I could. Uh, I would say. I mean, the whole like, shower is It's, part it's not affecting me. It's not affecting me at all. Did, I'm, I'm loving this series. It's one of my top at the minute. Did so. you really like that shower scene of like just like I think it's on? <laughs> <laughs> just like, am I clean? I it's, it's hilarious. And then like I didn't think they go that far, showing like Big Barda and like also Sky like almost like taking off. So like I didn't think they go that well, far. I, it's crazy. I mean, she completely got naked. Right? Yeah, I didn't think they'd go that far. Which I mean, pro- this just makes it a like. A more like radical type of series, you know what I mean? Like, I it's one of those we might be looking back at it later on. Like, you know, some people well, it's, say it's it's a very much a Tom King book. Like oh, this to sure. me is what Tom King does. Yeah, and I feel like the beginning of Batman, where I was always kind of hesitant, that was more probably him going to the style of what maybe DC was looking for, and this is like more. Yeah, this is like going full Tom King in that sense. So I'm, I'm like, all just, you know, just just the start of it, just the way the story was told, where he's doing the um the little like hit and run missions. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just there's no, there's no fault in it. It's just perfect. I, I like, everything it. in that first part is just spot. On. Yeah, like, I, um, 
something. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just love the issue. Uh, I want to get the who's the artist because I really like the the, the the way the art is. Rod's variant cover is stunning. Oh yeah, which is so weird. Where the variant is holding like, the gun and the sword, and there's the parademon. The, yeah, it... everybody agrees with me. Everybody agrees the variant is better than the original in terms of the cover. So, um, who's the artist? Real quick, uh, it says it right here. It's Rod's. Oh, it is, but it's also like okay. I thought it was someone else for some no, reason too. No, it's Mitch <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was someone else, but yeah, I love this issue, and that's uh, that's all I really need to say. I don't remember who it is to be fair, because it's one of the only people I know has my name. <laughs> True. So yeah, you go ahead. Um, my next one is Uncanny Avengers, and it's following like the last issue. I don't think I, I talked about it on here, but um, no. I, Secret Empire ended for them, obviously, and they got attacked by Graviton straight away. Oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> Graviton was still, like, hanging around New York. And he's kind of gone mad because he's he remembers that everything has changed. He's like, oh, they changed all the Cosmic Cube, blah, 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 blah. And, like, because, obviously, he was part of the, um, oh, what's it called? The Pleasant Hill stuff. And he went mad over that because, obviously, keep changing it back and forth. And... He, he sends a Scarlet Witch up into space, so she's about to die, but um, Brother Voodoo saves at the last minute, so that Zub's forming a connection between the two magic users. And uh, it's the, the bulk of the issue, really, is, is them kind of taking Graviton down. But at the same time, you get introduced to this new character, like this just random black lawyer. And like he's talking to his cabbie, and he's like, "Yeah, like I can't get hold of these people. You know, there's this, there's that. Yeah, I should do it all face to face. I've been doing it for years." And he ends up being a lawyer for Johnny Storm. He's like, "We need to talk about the um, the Richards stuff." The Richards. So, yeah. So, which is clearly a setup for Marvel doing what? Yeah. There's, I would say, yeah. bound to happen, like set up like that. So yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a good uh, issue. There's a lot of, lot of weaving. Art's really good. No. All right, I go. All right. Yeah, you can go. My next one, Teen Titans number twelve. It it is a tie-in to Metal. Um, you definitely do have to read Metal before this because I was almost gonna read this before Metal, and then I just, I think I think I saw it says you have to like read metal before before this and i was like oh let me go back real quick before like you even like start the issue it's just kind of like tells yeah. you that um so you but... have to read titans before no you have to read metal before you oh, have to read the main metal issue before, yeah, yeah. yeah um yeah. because it's like because i mean we'll talk about it later but the ending of metal is like bringing in everything and then this is like after everything has come in like all the the bad guys yeah um but it definitely not gonna lie Feels like an RPG story mode or something like that. Where that's cool. It, it's so awesome because like uh, it. Well, uh, it's I forget his name, but it's the the bat villain. The Batman. Who loves. The bat. Yeah, yeah. The the one who looks like the Joker basically, or who yeah, is the Joker? Batman, Batman who loves. That's what it is. He he gets the Riddler and is like, all right, we're gonna give you some power because on my in my universe, I I think he said he killed him. So in this universe, you're gonna get a different, another chance, and he's. It's almost kind of like the big bad giving littler bads like power to be like the stepping stone to the big bad at the end. It's it's a video game yeah. basically. It's so awesome because they're in this maze, the or the it's a labyrinth. It's the Riddler's labyrinth, and you have Green Arrow, Damien, Har uh, Harley Quinn, Killer Croc. And there's just like moments they're walking around, they're trying to figure out where to go here and, and this and that, and uh, they they find like hidden traps where it's oh is that Batman? No, it's not. It's like it's it's such fun to read. It just reminds me of playing a video game, honestly, with your friends and like all everybody has their own like uh, personalities that go against each other or stuff like that, and um, it's just it's really a lot of fun. And then you see like the Riddler in his kind of suit up suit of like. Darkness is like this big metal robot that has black and green on it, like for the Riddler, and has like this big spiky kind of Riddler cane. That's it's <laughs> video game. It's an RPG star. I love it. So other than I mean, also the art is really good. I don't. I mean, I always did like whoever. I because I still think it's the backup artist. Whoever was that one guy that left, but I think he's done a really good job, and I've kind of forgot it was the other guy like still doing it because this guy has just done a really good job. 
So I watch it. What was his name? The guy who keeps uh, leaving stuff and he can't get stuff done. <laughs> Jump on Mars. Yeah, he can't get stuff done apparently. But yeah, it was just it was that awesome, man. It just it feels like like. It's a raid in Destiny or something like that, where you're just having to go uh, beat the bad guy with your friends, stuff like that. And right, the oh that raid. Yeah. Uh, oh, the best part is the Riddler gets defeated, right? And then there's like a card of what the Riddler's kind of like big mechanical uh, or the big machine was. So it's kind of like he's giving. That's how he's giving the powers away, like that. So that's pretty cool. But at the very end, Nightwing makes an appearance. And it's also a new villain where uh, Mr. Freeze now has, like, the power. And it's kind of like you, you've unlocked a new uh, area. And, like, a <laughs> hero has come to, uh, for you for help in that sense. So it's just, it's an RPG story, which is so awesome. I think everybody's loving that fact. Um, which I didn't know how I would feel about that, but it just, it works really great, to be fair. So, um, also, I really like, I told you before, I really do like the designs of these bat villains type of people these batmen they're dark right. so they're very dark soulsy to me which i really like oh don't be games radar who's, who's that Game, oh don't games know radar games yeah, yeah, yeah what they say people that go, uh, you know this is the dark souls of blur I... like everything everything is dark souls to no well i legit when we first saw the batman i legit told you it reminds you <laughs> of dark souls it's, it's fine. I mean, it's fine. But... see i don't like the, the wonder woman one especially really annoys me because yeah. it like I, I, you no, know, they revealed that, and I had no idea who the fuck it was. They had to actually put the logo on the chest. It's kind of like, why? Why not just make something that looked more like a Wonder Woman? Like, admittedly, looking at it now, it's kind of like, oh, of course it's the Wonder Woman. Yeah, <laughs> but before but, you're like, oh, I didn't know. We didn't, both of us. Like, you know, know. It's, it's the colours as well. Why blue? Unless it's because of Aries, and uh, I don't know, is Aries blue? I, all I'm going to say is I love that, like... It's a it's a it's a cool collection of heroes that are the top main characters. Also, everybody hates Beast Boy now. Just letting you know, he all he does is complain and take selfies, and he's not helping the mission at all. Is that people in the book hate Beast Boy, or are you talking oh about people, people in real like social media comments and stuff like they hate Beast Boy now? He's just annoying and like they hate the new personality he has. Like he's always been like a comedic. That fit Beast no, Boy he's more self centered now. He's way more self centered now. Like he, yeah, like the he... whole like selfie stuff, like you know, just going from the the old Titans cartoon. It kind of like it. It it doesn't it, like that one was kind of like a, a a nice kind of like he he thinks a lot of himself. But this is way too much. This is like. Bro, you're literally costing every like he he's the one who's like we should kick Damien. Out. It's like it's he's such a whiner and all that. Like at least the going off the old show, like from what you would remember, he would at least get the job done. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, like taking like the whole social media stuff, it fits. Yeah, I guess I guess I just don't like the modern version of the kid. I guess. Yeah. It's I, just, I mean, it's but kids now I'm an old man. Now, yeah. <laughs> now I'm an old man. Uh, uh, well, welcome to the twenty. <laughs> yeah, so um, you you I look know. back on teenagers like Ugh. I really like this, so that's it. Well, sweet. Uh, my next one is X Men Blue number eleven, and again following following on the last one, um, I could never remember this woman's name. Uh, I always want to say the wrong one. I said Madeline Pryor. I always want to say Morgan Le Fray. It's not that. But yeah, Madeline Pryor, she's the one that's been getting Beast to deal with the magic, and she kind of got Beast to do the spell that has let her come from uh, her dimension, which is the Goblin Queen, to into here, into our world, and Beast is now taking over, and she's got her own team of Hexmen. Yeah. Let's get cheesy with it. You know, you've got like Colossus, Storm, and all these. Like, they're, all, they're all virtually the same as the X Men. They just have slightly different origins to them. Uh, I think Colossus, Ileana died, and he spent his time killing demons. That's who he is now. Storm was the, was the thief, and she pickpocketed a vampire, and she's now Bloodstorm, because really fucking edgy. And obviously, she's a vampire now. Yeah. yeah. And like, the, the whole, it kind of, the team split up at the minute. Like, Beast is obviously now this giant white beast. And just, they've kept the Nightcrawler over from Secret Wars. And I don't know if that is our Nightcrawler or if it is that Nightcrawler. It's not really explained. It's just a bit. A lot of Nightcrawlers. But, yeah, but like, Gene and Scott, they're trying to sort this out. Uh, Polaris, Magneto, 
I can't remember. I think it was Havoc was there. Like they're trapped, they can't get out. There's like a the little thing for them. Um, Jimmy Hudson, along with Angel, they're looking for stuff where he came from, and they like come across the mist, uh, the mist or Lady Sinister, like her lab, and they kind of find that she's been doing those experiments. And she's like, the interesting thing about mutants from your world is that you were made by man, and then it gets stopped because uh, Angel presses the board button. And then they get attacked by the Blob, who we thinks the Blob. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, no, that's pretty much. Unless I'm missing something, let me just come through. I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say your comics are didn't have a lot happening in them, but it does seem no, like they're, my... they're, they're not really like this week. Like they have been good, but they are kind of like it's the majority of its actions. So I'm not really gonna spend five minutes talking about an action scene. Yeah. But like at the end of it, um, Bloodstorm kind of looks at Beast and she's like, "Oh, he looks sad. Like, no, he's regretful. I'm gonna help him." And it's like, okay, but, uh, it's it's cool. Right. Um, I'll go with my next one. Action Comics nine eight seven. Uh, I mean, real quick, let me just. Uh, I'm just gonna like quickly mention that I love the everything that led up to the because the thing to talk about most is the ending of course which still sh- like surprised me you're, set, you're setting this up for a massive but yeah no but no no I don't know everything that came before um <laughs> my thing is i just wanted to quickly mention because it does need uh it is worth mentioning the before what happened before the big review and all that of what led to that of like uh superman kind of going out there helping the world taking medicine to uh, a third world country helping immigrants and stuff like that i swear i saw oh, that man. one panel like being outraged over him helping immigrants no i swear i've seen that one panel so many times of people saying the uh, shout out to superman showing us what a true american hero is and stuff like that really? i've seen the opposite people really? are in a fucking uproar it's like why are you mad that superman's being superman it doesn't help to be honest a fucking screen rant is like superman saves immigrants like from white supremacists <laughs> He's like, so everyone of course is reading the headline and kind of going oh you're doing it because of trump blah 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 because everyone's a fucking idiot these days and just reacts to the headline and you're true and he's not even a white supremacist let's get that straight but like, if he was even if that was what was happening what's the problem yeah. Like, why are you defending white supremacy? <laughs> this is true as well. Like, this is a bad thing. This is never good. 2017, we defend the bad guys, apparently. Oh, but I'm just being SJW, bro. Uh, I mean. I, but, I I mean, I definitely loved, like, seeing that. And, and I keep seeing comments of, like, Superman tro- uh, showing what a true American hero is, and he's technically an Ill- illegal immigrant. He's part, he's doing this work part of the dream. Because all that's happening right now, which is also one of those things that's unintentionally happening, right? It's one of those kind of, yeah. like, I mean, the, it could be with the whole, remember how I said um, Nick Spencer kind of maybe tweaked it? It probably was unintentional. Like, he probably wrote that, and it is just kind of, like, unintentionally goes with what's happening. Because this, like, I'm pretty sure he wrote the, they wrote this a while ago, and it's like, it kind of just, you know, Trump trying to take away the Dream Act and all that, and him helping the immigrants. It just... Well, here's the thing. It's just Superman being Superman. This is true. This is so true. <laughs> like, I, there's literally, like, what's, what's wrong? Like, do you not like Superman? Do you not like people He's being helping saved? people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I mean, I just wanted to mention that because it was worth mentioning of like Superman being like really Superman-y of what he would do and all that. Um, this reminds me of like uh, the Alex Ross drawn Superman. What was it called? I did, something Hope where he would go because the the government's not allowed to go into certain countries stuff like that to help people because it's political stuff. But he would do it and stuff. Yeah, yeah and he was also questioning should is it should he do it? And so it, it reminds me of good stuff like that. So, but other than that. This is the big Mr. Oz. Finally, they don't lie to me. They not only show you who he is, which is straight out the gate. It is Jor-El. It is, in fact, Jor-El. Um, it still kind of low-key surprised me. I know you you weren't that surprised, but to me, I could have thought, like, it, I, maybe it would have been a Superboy Prime thing where everybody was hyping up Superboy Prime, and then it wasn't him. And I was like, oh, maybe they're just hyping up Jor-El, and it's not going to be him. But I was like, oh, it is Jor-El. What? Um, but it, it, I know it probably didn't surprise you. I know, I, I don't, I think I saw a message you saying that you didn't like this. I don't know if, how you felt about it. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I don't care to be honest, uh, but I've, I've seen, I've seen people, uh, say they're not 
particularly it's kind of oh, like this is a bit of a letdown i well i get the sense of not liking it because of what Jarrell is and why he sent Superman here and all that and why is he against people now and that's kind of like a Zod from, thing. From an outside perspective of DC and from what the, my basic understanding, this does seem very strange. I and it's I kind agree. of like why, <laughs> like what, what, what's why I, is Jarrell doing this? I'll agree a little bit. I'm really excited to see the journey of what happened. Like who took him out of time? Was it Manhattan? Was it someone else? Um, I'm really curious as to that aspect of it of like how he got here, how he's kind of just like half his face is burnt and the other isn't maybe he was getting it, well but... there's that theory that it's not actually Jor-El it's the guy who had his face reconstructed to look like Jor-El but see, that's... who got horrifically hurt and then got locked away see that, that's and, another like, one was, of those things though it appeared, it appeared for like an issue or something like that or a couple no. of issues See, that's another one of those things, though. That that's why I was still surprised, because you can never know nowadays. Like, yeah, there's theories and stuff out there, and there's maybe hints and covers, but covers do uh, not lie, per se, but they can kind of lead you one way when it's another. Uh, theories can also lead you... Superboy Prime, for example, Vic thing, like, everybody legit thought it was him. They even had it at the very end of a DC issue before they showed who he was, and they're like, could it be Superboy Prime? Could it be Mixie? Yeah. So... I mean, to be fair, looking back on that one, the second they put Mixoplex in that little lineup, you should have guessed it was it. Yeah. But that that's what I'm saying. Like, I was not 100% it was Jarrell, even though some people were saying it. I was like, it could not be him. But that's why I, mean, I was to be legit- fair, the, the minute they released those, the two, the two Shield covers, like the one with the, oh, the normal yeah, that's, and then the one right? with that, the, the S made out of people, yeah. I think it was pretty fucking obvious it was it had to be a relation of it, to Something an extent. To it. Um, I I do like kind of like the beginning of showing of what Mr. Oz is all about, why like why he's doing what he's doing, and he thinks Earth doesn't deserve Superman because he's too good for them. And I've seen, uh, where have I seen that oh, kind see, of story me, that, before? That, that, that doesn't match up to me. <laughs> oh, with Jarrell like, for sure. Yeah, me either. Like, yeah, it's just like <laughs> that's why I'm curious as to what the story is, how he got here, yeah. so I can. And to be honest, I think that's probably why I've seen this kind of land with like a thud with people, just like oh, uh, oh, because the... of uh, he's hating on people and stuff like that. But it's yeah, not it's just like, like uh... it's not even Zod like. It's it's a different kind of thing. I, I've seen this kind of story before, but not necessarily. I don't know if in comics, it might be in like an anime or something like that. Um, but. He's kind of, he thinks uh, men or humans are too, can be too corrupted in that sense, right? So isn't that basically pain's arc? I'm going to do this for you. A little bit, yeah, you're right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's where I know it from. I even you making the Naruto reference. I, I am ashamed that I remember. I, that. I mean, <laughs> it's, I, I, I've watched ninety percent of Naruto. Yeah, <laughs> but that pain arc is the best arc, though. So I mean, to be, I haven't seen the ending, so I wouldn't know if it's the best arc. But it's uh, a shame. It's a shame the ending of that arc has horrific animation. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, but it does a little bit remind me of that. Now that you say it, so that I do like that aspect of it where people cannot be that and then you know naruto was always that guy of like no people can change people are good and all that and superman is that guy so uh it's very much a lot of similarities um i don't think we'll, we'll see a fight between jor and superman uh, uh i think you will you, th- you think there'll be a little fight a little one yeah uh, that, that has to be that'll, be that'll be interesting but yeah it was just like my daddy my daddy um, wasn't... actually yeah that can make some, something like that i'm just I don't, I'm just really curious as to how he got there and all that, and um, you know whether well, because if you believe that if you believe that cover, uh, Manhattan took him out. Oh, oh, well, there is something about that. Where did I read that? Where like he, he said it's, something. It, it's um the lenticular cover, isn't it? Where it's, it, Krypton exploding, but then there's the blue flash. Uh, I'm trying to say. I'm trying to see because he says something right here. Uh, and he obviously knows Manhattan because he's he's referenced him before. Yeah, yeah, he obviously does. So it might have been him, to be fair. Um, I, I guess they're going with the origin that Jarrell didn't know much about Earth. I've always been a fan of the origin where Jarrell knew about or- Earth, specifically this version of Smallville, which really gets me all the time because he he gets uh, like basically grounded to Earth for like a day. Uh, I was gonna say, something... isn't that, isn't that the one where he was? Like he visited Earth before, and that's how he knew. Yeah, him. well, he met John uh, Jonathan Kent's father 
and he, the his John like Pocket's mother was, or Pocket's mom was pregnant with him. So it's that like. That's how he knew of the Kents and why he said... I've always been a fan of that. And I know it's a live action yeah. thing. Um, so it's not necessarily comic canon. But I, I don't know. I guess when I think of jor sending him to Earth, it's always comes... That's what comes to mind. So that's yeah. my canon, I guess. But it, um, I mean, it, it just kind of makes a bit more sense. Like, why would he just send your baby off to a random planet? Yeah. Uh, the one thing I would say is the whole... There's a yellow sun and it's the only one where humans can... That's the only other, like thing that's been around I mean, this. yeah but it's uh, you know. it's always kind of a random like why this universe there's probably other universes with yellow suns you know what i mean yeah so i don't know it's just but i'm i'm excited to see what how he comes here because i want to know did he become this way because manhattan or and whatnot or has he been here the whole time and just wa- looking over superman and stuff like that so uh i'm curious uh that's the thing i'll say i i I wasn't necessarily like, oh yeah, this is exciting. I think I'm more, I'm gonna be more excited about how he got here as opposed to it being him. So, yeah, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I just, I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed the the lead up to it, but I didn't, I didn't enjoy the the surprise. Um, I'm also he has like an eye that's kind of like shut out and it's green. On yeah, it, I mean, so that's... he's got that really like burnt gamut. Yeah, in it. so I'm ex- I'm a little excited to see what. That's the, why. The, that's the, why there's that theory about is the guy who had his face made to uh, look like Jorah. One thing I would add before I go to your comic is, I wish it was a shorter time between, like, all of the because there was a there was a time where I don't think you saw anything of Mister Alls, and I kind of wish there was a shorter t- time in between. When we first saw him to this, maybe a year, not like a year and a half, maybe a give take away a, a half a year. So I feel like that could have been better in that sense. Like, have, have this like before the button kicked up. I don't know if you need. I mean, you could have just you just like shorten like everything by a half a year. Like maybe take away certain issues. And take out arcs. the fluff that they. Yeah, yeah. Here. There's definitely a fluff. Um, it's just because. I wish we would have seen a hint at that Mr. Oz or Jarrell, I guess that was like this I was as say, a person. That, that's probably my biggest problem with this reveal is from what I've heard people talk about, like it doesn't, it didn't kind of really add up to Jarrell oh, until no, a, yeah. like a lot of stuff hinted towards other things. And it's just uh, like, oh, why? I guess I've been technically spoiled with something like. Game of Thrones were kind of like even like something that's at the very end right it's been said since the beginning and it's always been kind of talked about there's never been a moment where I don't think they mention the White Walkers and stuff like that and getting to know about them or seeing them stuff like that so yeah. I that's tell me that's my go to of comparing something like story wise like specifically the show um so that's hey, it's just it's basic story structure yeah well really. that's kind of like what I would hope just kind of like Cut out the fluff, you know, I guess. You, like, you can't have a mystery without leaving breadcrumbs yeah, for okay. your yeah, readers right. or your viewers. Like, it's just it's just strange. I mean, look, there, there might be that like, I was, obviously wasn't deep diving into yeah. this. So. Yeah, so, um, I mean, that's all I have to say, really. We uh, That's a lot, like, to say about this, actually. So yeah. I mean, it was a pretty it's big Major issue, issue yeah. But, um, you got... Have you read Mega? No, I didn't get to read it. <laughs> Right, well, the ninety percent of it is just Steve talking to Steve. <laughs> Does that As what they call him? It, it dubbed him Steve. I saw it the other day, and I was like, "Yes, I'm that's funny." That because it's I, kind I, of I it's easier. I think uh, I think Spencer retweeted someone or someone. I saw some random tweet of it. I was just like, "Yes, it, uh, why, why I was in that before." It's definitely easier than Hydra Cap, like just Steve, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like that, that's basically all it is there are so it does divert to some places um like it sets up um tales of suspense with bucky like he's going around and he's like oh, hang on like this this like, assassination was from natasha's hit list and it was killed at the angle of the shot was the same as natasha's and yada 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 um it's a really confusing part. They're talking about the Punisher, and it's setting up Punisher getting the War Machine armor from Fury. Um, I honestly thought they brought Rhodey back because the Punisher in this is 100% black. And it's not a case of 
like whole He Man thing with you and I mean. Yeah. Like she is a hundred percent black in his band was <laughs> just like, Are you trying to make him roadies that much? Are we going back to when Punisher blackface? No, that was a bad time. No, let's not do that again. <laughs> but that was that was a little weird. And like, I'm not the only one because I posted it on my Twitter, which you should check out. Uh, yeah, like the whole, like the whole conversation they have between each other, is like the two sides of the same coin argument. Like, you know, Steve, Steve's like, you know, you were lazy, you know, you did this, you did that, and Steve was like, I, like, you can't give me a trial. I've done nothing illegal. I didn't take anything. You all gave it to me. Ooh. Like you asked. You asked me to do that. I did that. I just did what you all wanted me to do. And it's kind of like, oh, no, <laughs> no, it's proper just like jab Steve in there. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, though. But it's it's really like it's a shame you haven't actually read it. Cause... I will. I will. I definitely do go back. Like whenever um, I haven't read a comic, like when we do this show, I definitely do go back to read it. Like if you say something like really good about it. So like this is one I actually did want to read, but I didn't have the time yeah. to say. But there's a really really powerful part that sets up Steve going forward and he's like the worst part of what you've done like you know he goes I've built myself up over the years to earn their trust and respect but I've always tried to push like the lesson that we shouldn't like just rely and lean on one person but at the same time uh, when he was doing the clean up in Washington he went to save a little kid and as he reached out the kid flinched backwards Oh, oh, that's the yeah. He's like, there's that permanent scar now where they all, they'll never really trust me fully again, which I suppose is a good thing because it's kind of the lesson I wanted to teach him. But at the same time, like, that's never going to go away. There's always going to be that element of, like, can you trust him? And of course, they also argue about who's the real one, who's not, and he's. Steve's like, how can you still believe that? And it's like, well, why wouldn't I believe it? And, you know, I'm not the only one that's going to believe it. Other people, like, the people that you pretend to serve, like, will believe it as well. They've seen this, that, like, in another world that is in line with them, and, like, their like, ideology and my ideology. And they're always going to strive to get that back, just as you're striving to keep what you think is right. And it was a, re- it was a fucking powerful issue as a whole. But it just sums up everything that Spencer did and was doing and wanted to do. Really fucking good. Spencer's always a great writer, so, yeah. yeah. I'm, gl- I'm glad. I- what is he writing after this? Um, He's doing one of the legacy things. I forgot which one. He's doing, I think it's, he's doing, the only thing they've announced he's doing is a brand called Eck. A one shot from Marvel. So weird. Like, uh, I mean, I guess he's done with his, like, his three years or whatever, how long it's been. It's, well, it's like if, you, if you believe certain places and certain rumors, he is taking over Spider-Man. Ooh, interesting. With, like, Dan Slott still on a Spider-Man title, but not. Like, it's kind of his, it'll be his own Spider-Man title, like, off to the side. But like Renew Your Vows, but Dan Slott. Do 2099, because that needs a revamp. I mean, it's only just fucking finished. You know, but that, I mean, man, I don't think nobody really liked the new 2099. Remember, like, it, it was kind I of mean, flat. It, it went on for a couple of years. Yeah, but... You know, since, you know, it so. own, since Superior Spider-Man finished, it has carried on since then and only finished this year. I, I guess so. I, I guess to me it just didn't seem like a lot of people cared about it, which sucks because I, uh, I always kind of liked that character, you know? I mean, to, to be fair, they took him out of the one place that makes him interesting. <laughs> you know, they put they put him in present day. Uh, Why? That is true. That is true. <laughs> like, keep like... him in the place that makes him interesting, like you've done with Gwenpool and uh, Spider Gwen. It's like nice. what they did with Batman Beyond. They they took him out of the future. Remember that? And then um, and yeah, then Tim yeah. Drake was it for a while, and then he got out. So yeah, like yeah. Also, Sarantino's artwork in this is fucking incredible. It is the the best in the entire Secret Empire run. Nice. And they do this really nice thing where when it's Steve talking, it's normal cars. Where it's Steve always got like a red tint over it. It's really Ooh. fucking nice. Really nice. Like just aesthetically wise, it's it's pretty on point. Yeah. And at the end, like Steve's like, "You're never gonna leave this place." And at the end, all the guards rush 
uh, Steve and one goes Hell Hydra in his ear. So <laughs> he's clearly he's clearly gonna get out at some point, and if he's not the new Red Skull, I will be mad. You really want that to happen, right? I really, you know, it just fits. You know, sure. Red Skull and Steve are always two sides of the same coin. And Steve will even go, you're welcome for, for, like, for me killing him, by the way. Like, I did what you could never do. And, um, no, it's just, it just fits. You know, it, just have him be the Red Skull. You know, they, they're all the same, they're opposites anyway. You might as well have it opposite with the same person. Mm-hmm. I, I suppose metaphorically, he's a, he's a red skull. So. I can, I can't wait to to read this. this I you know sounds exciting to be fair. So hopefully he does turn into red skull because that seems like an interesting like turn. Well, it doesn't even have to turn into red skull. Oh no, just we could just be it. Go by that name. Yeah, like have something. Like he's gonna have, have to get a, a mask though. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna have to have a mask. So all right, yeah. on to That's... the last one. Yep, we're on to talking about. Dark Knight's Metal, number 206. Um, th- this is also, this is more so than Mr. Miracle, where I feel like if you don't know the DC Universe, or at least the last 10 years, it's a lot to take in. Because. I'll say, I think if you haven't read any of Snyder's run, especially the first two arcs yeah. or volumes, you're going to, you know, it helps out. Luckily, I've read those. <laughs> Uh, but it's also like they mentioned, like when Batman gets hit by Dark Side's Omega Beans, go back in time, which is around the 2009, yeah. 2010. Say, so, uh, wasn't that uh, the, Morrison, the yeah, Morrison? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they they mentioned stuff like that. So it's like, you know, when Scott Snyder said, "Oh yeah, you don't have to read any DC comic before this," don't, you're lying. You're lying, Scott. <laughs> you're lying. You're straight up lying. Like this. You, I mean, you were trying to sell. That's not lying. I mean, you're like you're trying to sell it. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I won't. Yeah, sure. I won't take him down the peg for that. You know, they all, they all fucking do it. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because like even the very beginning where it's like out of Carter Hall's journal and it's like talking about Corona, like the very, like, I was like, whoa, that's a pool. That is a pool. <laughs> but, um, and then like even more, and <laughs> what I love is that Batman fa- finally uses his family, the Bat family to kind of like really good use in all of them together. I'm just going to say this quickly. I didn't like how Damien was written in this. A little weird, I will agree. I agree. It was a little different. Like, no, it's the whole like, oh, I'm I'm fifteen, I'm driving through the Everglades in a bat hog, I'm winning at life. It's like that's not Damien. Yeah. Like you, you can't read like like Super Sons and then go to this and it'd be the same character. This, yeah, that's just this seems like he's like he's never done stuff like this before. He's done way crazier stuff like this than that. It's, it was a different personality. Like yeah. Damien doesn't say winning at life. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Like, it's just like okay, like Snyder's uh, writing the Damien he wants to write, and that's but fun. I do love that it it is like the whole kind of DC universe where you even see Green Arrow, Girl of City. Uh, he's reporting in uh, Zatanna and Constantine, Blue Beetle of of all characters is in here, which is really cool. Um, he doesn't. I wish they would have also added in Ted Cord because that would have been a funny thing. But nah, it's like it's cool. Uh, but this like. Just I I do even though they wrote Damien weird I do like that aspect of like there's many bat men and it was all like I, the family the way they utilized the family and especially that one part was yeah. really yeah, it was really well done I the only thing I would say is I wish we would have saw all of them I think we only see Nightwing Damien I'm sure there's like they mentioned like Batwing Batwoman and it's like I wish we kind of would have just it was would have been too hard well, to draw them well you do see him don't you I don't, I don't think so. Maybe you see kind of like the shadows, but it's like you just say, don't they call... Yeah, so isn't... Out. they call it out. You see the back of them or something. Yeah, you... well, they call them out, and let me see. I don't. I think you only see like the silhouettes of them, but it's like eh, cop out. You see, uh, you see the back of it. Two... Many years of cop out, but you can't. Yeah. Okay. Um. But Swamp Thing's in here too, so that's what's awesome. And it's like it's you know it's all. This is a, a DC Universe type of event, I guess. Uh, no better words to say, because it has like a bunch of characters in the universe, so it's like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty huge, uh, I would say. And then the whole Superman thing, Superman and Batman thing, I didn't expect it to go that way in that sense of... Remember we were talking nah. like, could, is he killing him? Is he going to kill him? Yeah. It's like, no, it's just kind of like, oh, 
No, it's, it's just it's Clayface. Yeah, I mean that's true, <laughs> that, but it, that of course it's Clayface. But Clayface uh, is in the Detective Comics, and he's in the family that, now. He's being more of a good guy, so it all like runs through like what's happening now. But I will say. I do, I don't know how you feel about this, but I really do like, might even love the whole aspect of they've been here since the beginning and they like have kind of slowly over like the last five years in real life comic sense of putting a metal inside of Batman to make him the doorway. Yeah, yeah. I, I, really I, I like that. that. Yeah. Like, like, yes, that does connect it to Snyder's run where it's like, oh yeah, we did this when this happened and like this happened when this happened and all that sort of stuff. Like but even as someone who hasn't read everything, like you can just appreciate the fact that it does make that connection to something. It it, it kind of shows like, but it also even more to that, like to what I got out of the sense of what I got from this was that the only reason they're like bats is because they first saw Batman when he got sent to the prehistoric time. Like, they were already back there. Yeah. And they, yeah. they were probably just, like, dark figures. Let's just imagine that. Dark figures, right? And the only reason they're bats is because they saw Batman, and he was, like, in this well, pelt of a bat. Of, like, they've set that up before, didn't they? Wasn't that in the preludes? They said they've been here before, and, like, there's been a clan of, like, yeah, the but bats. They, 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 yeah, they always went, like, there was this clan, and there was that, but, and... I can't remember where it was. I'm saying it was in the preludes, but to me that came off as, as like it, the way you said it. That's how it came off as where there was a bat like already from the beginning. But this makes it more like oh no, they weren't a bat from the beginning. They were only a bat because Batman got sent back in time and messed up a time yeah. like that. So they've been Actually, following I, ever since. I knew that. I knew that somehow. I can't think how exactly. I knew. <laughs> you kind of like assume that you're like oh it must have been like something like they saw him back. Whatever, but like it adds everything together. Well, no, because I, I I remember us talking about like this going back to a previous event. I just can't remember how I knew that. I might have read it. I don't know. But, you know, you said like you know it showed how like even from the Court of Owls, like they were putting like when he died yeah. from the Joker and all that, and when he got brought it, back. This feels like the the Snyder Swan song for Batman. Oh yeah, this definitely feels the like, the made it like yeah, yeah, it definitely feels like the beginning, the Secret Empire. Yeah. To, you it, know, and it, it now kind of feels a bit more like yes, Snyder has been building up to this moment. <laughs> yeah, it's not just like, like a... it, it doesn't feel as last minute as it has done. It, before. it doesn't help that the preludes were kind of too set up y. You know what I mean? They were, yeah. they were just too much set up, and I guess that's a prelude, but at the same time, they're not uh, that enjoyable to read if you're not that well versed so like especially like someone like you 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 just you didn't enjoy it and it because it was too set up you so i I mean that totally makes sense so but also going back to even beyond that it's like going back to final crisis and all that 2009 2010 and stuff like that when batman got sent back and he comes back so like whoa they're going way back this is pretty cool like like, reaching in for grant morrison like i i definitely dig this and i don't know but is that the wizard Shazam in that council? It looked like him. It de- like what, an old man with, with the, the immor- yeah, the with, yeah, yeah, Shazam. It yeah. Look, we, he's we've dead. seen them before. They were in the prelude, and he had the dagger. But he's dead. Apparently not. I guess not. Every Shazam story, he dies. Which one? It is, I, I'm assuming this is kind of taken off of New Fifty Two, right? He even dies in that one. He dies in which, every story. Which one are you saying is the wizard? The, I assume the real the old, old one. The old uh, kind of brownish with white uh, hair. With big the beard. white hair and the red yeah. robe. Yeah. yeah. It looks like him. I'm, a, I'm likely to assume it is him. I mean, I'd assume it is considering like he was with them before and you know the whole immortal thing. Right. But it just... It, I, I mean, no setup at all to that. Just random throw it in there like... He's there. I was like, he dies every time. How is he alive? So I, I, I mean, they haven't done a Shazam rebirth yet. Yeah, it mm-hmm. sucks. They re- that, that's one character they I wish they would do because. I mean, uh, if it, it, it yeah. feels weird that they haven't, to be honest, it's like. Mm-hmm. But I, I, it's like I get it. Shazam wasn't a DC thing. And they it was a yeah. Fawcett, it was a Fawcett comic, so it's kind of it's not. What a shame. It's it's like the stepchild sort of. Thing. Yeah, what a it's shame, like what a shame. it's ours, but. I, everybody keeps finding it funny that uh, Ra's al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul, however you say it, he, uh, he keeps saying he was the youngest one out of all the yeah. immortals. That's funny because like, he's still really old. Yeah. 
So I don't know, that was just pretty funny. But yeah, and also, you know, this this is like I told you. This feels like if you didn't necessarily know a lot of the DC universe, it feels like it might be too much for you. You said it's not that much, but I don't know. It just feels like because they no, feel this, ba- this one, this issue, I felt like I actually really started to enjoy this event. Yeah. Like, I, I, there's still something about. I think it's because it actually it, it's got going. Like something's happening. Well, it's not trying to put pieces in place. It's actually... He stole baby Darkseid, which is hilarious. <laughs> Batman stealing a baby. Like, okay. He needs a new Robin. That's what he needs. Yeah. And then Sandman's in here, and like he has a purpose where he can't really help out here, like per se, until he's in the other realm. So it's like yeah. that kind of thing. So that, like, at least there's a purpose, and I'm sure we're going to see him down the line in this one. But I, 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 I go just with that quickly. What's up? Wouldn't he know that's not the place that Batman needed? Uh, I mean, he, he might be one of those eternal type of characters where so like, I, suppose, he can't, I suppose he you know, couldn't really tell him at the same time yeah, it's just yeah. like... I, I think he's that like where he has some rules to himself where he can't interfere a certain much yeah. he's, certain he's a watcher much. by all means at this point yeah exactly so he can maybe show himself say a thing or two but he can't necessarily interfere with this or else yeah. he probably would have helped Batman stop it to be fair so <laughs> also baby dark side looks like a little girl I'm gonna say uh, no. it's just hilarious, baby. Dark side, <laughs> like that's just I can't. I, I I don't know. That's just like the best kind of imagery. That's all you need right there. But yeah, it's just so random. It's like yeah, look, baby, dark side. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm so glad they <laughs> brought it back, though. I would, and they mentioned Grail, and like, like I'm just glad like all this is still canon in essence because it kind of feels like it's been a while. Or it has been. It's been like two years. Um, so it's. It's crazy. I, I I enjoy this. Like I would have hoped, like the baby dark side would have been. Remember, we were talking about like I wonder when they're gonna pick it up. And I guess this is like, kind of like, in 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 the middle of the road type of thing, right? So yeah, we're it's likely to assume that they're gonna pick it up pretty soon, maybe twenty eighteen. Um, but it's the court of owls, man. I didn't expect them to be the ones to do it. So, but it makes well, I sense. suppose it's because they're the first ones. So it's kind of like it's the furthest like pull. Snyder can make to his own run. I, so you know, this is like he's kind of saying he's been, this is him setting up from the beginning. Yeah, is but, that, that uh, that's right. just kind of what he's trying to say there. I but. I will say though that when Batman becomes the door and it's kind of like his whole body is just like it looks like the universe in that sense, like it's all like the stars. I don't know if you saw. Yeah, that I really like yeah, that though. The whole eternity thing. I love that when yeah. people do that. Uh, you have the characters and the star. I, I don't know. So something Scott, he's won you over. I mean, he has. Like, I, I was kind of. Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed the last issue, but this one, I don't know. This one just felt better. Yeah, I, I didn't. The Robin's just like killing everybody. He's crazy, but I'm telling you, I really love the Batman. I really love their look. I, I think you don't like every one of their look, but I. I, I don't particularly like any of them. I just think that. This is the only part of it I don't particularly like. I, it's just kind of like, really, this is so edgy. <laughs> I, I don't think they need the, the logos on them, but I mean, it is what it is. I don't. The, the one, the Wonder Woman one definitely fucking was it. <laughs> was it not there before? No, it wasn't. So I get. Yeah. It was a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about that image of it, and it's just kind of like, what's the blue one supposed to be like? Oh no, maybe it's Superman. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, so but. But this does this definitely brings like a fantasy element to it, and it goes into that tie-in, where it felt like uh, an RPG story where they uh, like they were just going uh, like around like missions and um, beating bosses stuff like that. It brings a more fantasy element to it of whether you call it Dark Souls, The Witcher, whatever it may be. Um, that I definitely <laughs> enjoy. It's definitely more Dark Souls than Witcher. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, but I'm just like it brings that kind of sense to it. And I have yeah. no idea. I mean, I assume the main bad guy is the one that's in the way back of like what kind of like yeah. a witch type of thing. Yeah. It only seems right because it's the biggest one and it's in the back. Yeah. Uh, Old Barbados or whatever the fuck his name. <laughs> I, yeah, I've heard that. That sounds like a city or a country or something. Barbados. I think it's called that's Barbados. It's, 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 it's Barbados. Oh, actually, I think it's. That's a oh, country or somewhere. It is. There's Barbados. Let's see what. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Barbados. Barbados. I I swore yeah. that it was a country or something. Like it's, it's a very it's a very poor name to be honest. It's just kind of like, oh. like uh, you're, you're trying to think of what is the the worst thing imaginable, the dark universe. It's like oh Barbados. But it sounds it kind of makes me think of like old old timey 
type of thing, to, at least to me. Yeah, but it's a very much like an ironic name, like <laughs> Tiny for Batman. Um, yeah. I definitely. Who does this say? Um, I think they say. Oh, they say you want Bruce Wayne. I'm right here. I'm right here. They all say I'm right here. That's yeah. just creepy, man. It gives a little creepy vibe. Not gonna lie. It's like whoa, and especially the guy. He's holding like these weird killer robins. Gosh. They're little vampire kids. Yeah, that's crazy. And he's got... Uh, there's that panel of him from Titans, and he's got one for each of them. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I think he calls them crows or something like that, because they say crow in this when they're eating the, the owls. This, this is where it got me, where I was like, whoa, how are they going to get out of this one? Which, of course, they will. It's comics. But Bar- Barbados... I mean, yeah, sure, especially when they take a Superman Diana off the table, fucking like yeah. that. But here... <laughs> it's like, oh, they're dead. It says right here, Bar- Superman says, Barbados, we will beat you. And then Wonder Woman, we've beaten gods and monsters before. And then he says, because I let you. Welcome to the dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like, oh, damn. And yeah, that is that is a big oh. moment. Like, what? Oh, my. Like, this is like, this is, because, you know, I like the button. I like Superman Rebirth. I definitely like the audience. But this is like the first time I felt with a DC event, like in this like Rebirth era where I was like, Damn, like well, you know, it's the first event in Rebirth, isn't it? I guess so, right? Because the other ones were more crossovers, like the Bud yeah. and that's an event, but that's a crossover. And then this is like the actual like has it's event issues. Event. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it just it feels like important and big, and I'm just I'm excited. Like this is this is crazy, man. This is th- this is like something um, definitely like it's, you know. It's a nice um, palate cleanser from Secret Empire. Well, you've had the big, heavy, like massive downer of an event, and this one, yes, it's kind of you know, but it's, it's like an exciting cute. type of thing. But yeah, it's it's got that more fun element to it. Yeah, that I'm telling you, it just reminds me of a video game in that sense. Yeah, yeah. right. Like these characters look like you, you just pop into the beginning of Dark Souls, and then they they show you who you are, and then you have to go through each one of them like with your friends and stuff like that. Yeah. But you, you, it more reminds me actually of like a Marvel movie. Oh, where like that it has it it will get serious and it will deal with serious issues, but it would have fun with the film as a whole. Yeah. It, like, you... it's just, like, I'm not expecting like you know Superman to die and someone to like talk about the kitchen or whatever. Yeah. But you know it's yeah it's just that kind of like it's not gonna bug you down with what is happening. It is gonna just have fun with itself. It but it just feels weird. We're like oh man, this is such an exciting comic, and it's like this dark evil like their blood and fangs yeah. and stuff like that it's so weird to say it, but somehow that's able to work like you, you gotta be a good like storyteller in that sense or that way to be able to pull that like marvel movies are able to pull that off or like oh this is so much fun and cool but when you think about it it's like whoa like it's like it's weird how they're able to pull stuff like pull stuff uh like this off i don't know it's just this thing's fun yeah, but, that's why you're not writer in there oh i mean i'd have to do training <laughs> If I have to want it to be like that, I assume they all went through school and stuff like that to uh, become certain ways. I mean, that maybe everybody, yeah. So I mean, I've got yourself going there. Yeah. You could you could technically do that, but it seems like a lot of people. Oh, well, at least because they have these um those workshops now, like that the in house. Yeah. So, uh, but either way, man, this is uh exciting. I'm I'm looking forward to what the next one is, but that's like every month. But then every week is like a a tie in though. So I was gonna say I'm got to start reading the tie in. Yeah, the Titans are. I'm, I, I think the one I'm most interested in to reading is kind of the Wonder Woman one, just because I like that his look the most. That's interesting because it's kind of like, oh, what happened? Wonder Woman's dead. Yeah, but it's also I just I, I don't. I mean, we've had this conversation before, but which one did you? Which one do you like now more? Like thinking about it now and look seeing them. Which one? Whose look do you like the most? Like who's... what? Was the the Dark Universe Batman beef. Yeah. Um, I, like the I don't Wonder know. Woman I'm reason. not really a fan of any of them. Uh, okay. Like they all kind of look like what an edgy thirteen year old would do, <laughs> and I'm speaking from speaking from experience with that one. <laughs> That's not me just taking a jab. Like I did uh, yeah. exactly same. But I, I don't know. I'm there. There's I. I'm, I can't pick a favorite because I don't pick it like any of them. But. You know, now that I think about it, it's like yeah, you see Aquaman, you see Flash. It's like we're Superman. Superman did turn into Doomsday in um, New Fifty Two. Very, very true. And I suppose that's why I do things that. Yeah, so it, 
that, I mean, uh, the blue one, say... it just looks like Ares. You're right. Yeah, because he, he does say it's his nightmares. That would make a lot of sense. I can appreciate the fact that they've done that way now. And so obviously the, the worst fear for Diana would have been the God of War. Flash is yeah. reverse Flash, which he kind of seen yeah. looks or maybe Zoom. I don't know. It looks, it looks, looks more weird. Zoomish, yeah. but with red. Uh, you know, the worst nightmare would be Superman turning into Doomsday. Uh, I don't know about the other. T- I <laughs> guess Aquaman's yeah. would be Mera kind of going to the side of evil. Like he wouldn't want his wife to turn go go bad. But is uh, that a thing? I mean, uh, yeah, he's, he's kind of like always looked out for her and make sure like she because sometimes. Aquaman is always more tend not to be too crazy, like because he's more uh, diplomatic in all that sense. He doesn't want to press the button so quick, but she's always more of the tactical leader. It's like, no, we gotta do it because she's been she was more of that when she was in Atlantis, while Aquaman yeah, was kind of chilling. So yeah, yeah. so, so what that about the Green Lantern. I mean, I'd assume that uh, that has to be maybe Abin Sur, where he was kind of like dying, and he gives the ring to Hal Jordan and the. Dean could be oh uh, my the the person who gave me my power like who I am is going against me. I I mean that's all just me assuming. I mean I would love if that's what they that's the reason they came up with these designs and stuff like I that. I mean I'm sure we'll find out because oh, yeah, obviously yeah. it has to be about what he his worst thing because obviously his would be the Joker. Oh yeah, I know. and then with the Robins yeah. and yeah. yeah. So I will <laughs> say that as kind of um uh. As pedophile as the Batman who laugh looks, like, I can't. I just can't get past it. Like he has little kids chained up, and he's all like in gimp masks. It's kind of like, Ugh. like he is probably the more interesting one. He does seem crazy, <laughs> I don't, man. I don't know what that says. Uh, yeah. So I think with that, no, I, I've kind yeah. of brought oh, wow. myself around to a stuff that look. <laughs> hey, I feel like I'm a bit. You just need to be talked into yeah. a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not talking about. I just need to like, understand the reason. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's what I meant. Like you, just we're, when you talk about it more, you start understanding more, we're coming up with our own ideas, stuff like that. And then, no, it's I, it's like um, the Killmonger in the Black Panther movie is going to have a gold Black Panther suit. It's kind of like, oh, I don't like gold. I mean, if I know the reason for it, I might like it more. But oh, gold. I mean, you know, I just noticed in that ending uh, page, Baby Darkseid is there just pointing at Dark Flash. Yeah, he's got the little devil horn, the little rock horns, isn't he? It's like, Meh. Yeah, but it's just that's just funny. Like, why is Baby Darkseid just still there? It's well, uh... it's he's obviously going to be a player at some point. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like... That's interesting to me that he's like they're they're bringing it up here. Maybe it wasn't a Jeff Johns thing. I don't know. Maybe they're just kind of like they were leading us in so many different directions. But like, and they surprised I, they surprised me a lot. I'll be honest. Yeah. So, but I, I guarantee you, like, if you're just gonna follow like the basic Chekhov's gun structure, no doubt that baby dark side will be a massive key like Bath was as a grandpa. Yeah, yeah. So, it's um, gonna be some shit. With that, that's pretty much it. We went a long time. Um, I don't even know if it's gonna end up like this in the after recording, but I'll talk with Mitch I, about that. I don't know what you could cut out, to be honest. Uh, we'll see though. In all fairness, we had two big issues this week, or three big issues. I think you could go over it now. I guess I so. Think, this I one think... time, this one time, right? We'll let it yeah, happen. Let's have, have a flashback episode. <laughs> throwback, throwback. All right. Yeah.